Surprise, surprise, I have a best of car list, although you guys more likely will watch a worst of car list than best of, but hey, for those 14 people out there who like the best of lists, here's three in terms of compact cars for 2023. Beginning with the Honda Civic, this was completely redesigned last year and returns this year with no major changes. It's available in a sedan and hatchback. You can get one in a standard 2-liter 4-cylinder for 158 horses or a turbocharged 1.5-liter for 180 horses. The sportier alternatives include the 200-horsepower Civic Si and the new for 2023 Civic Type R, the wildest of the bunch with an explosive 2-liter turbo with 315 horses to the front wheels. Next up, the always dependable Toyota Corolla, also available in a sedan and hatchback. It features a 2-liter 4-cylinder for 169 horses. For the efficiency-minded drivers, consider the Corolla Hybrid. Toyota's answer to the Civic Type R is the all-new GR Corolla. It is blessed with an all-wheel drive, a 6-speed manual, and a turbocharged 1.6-liter triple-cylinder engine. That's a 3-cylinder engine to you and me. Delivering 300 horsepower, and this is definitely not your father's Corolla. And rounding out the top three is the Mazda 3. Isn't that ironic? Basically unchanged for 2023, this compact car proves to be one of the most fun to drive. It also stands out with a refined interior, large engine selection, and available all-wheel drive. Long-term reliability is excellent as well. If it wasn't for visibility issues, lower fuel economy, and a lack of a hybrid or high-performance model, the Mazda 3 would rank a little bit higher than where it is now. My top pick of the three is the Honda Civic. If you're in the market for a Civic, here are 10 reasons why you should buy one in 2023. For a few years now, the Civic sedan has been built in the good old US of A. But new for 2022, the hatchback version of the car will also be built on American soil. Production is being handled by Honda's own plant in Greensburg, Indiana. Go Hoosiers! It means Honda is not only confident in the American market, why shouldn't they be, but they're listening to you, the American consumer. Many buyers in the U.S. are preferring to buy domestically made cars, so the new revolution should go down very well with the general consumer. Built in America, designed in Europe, Honda has looked to Europe for ideas for its new model, and the car has been developed there as well. The new exterior design takes heavy inspiration from the coupe-like proportions of European sportbacks, and it features a much more sloping roofline than the outgoing model. It's also wider and has a longer wheelbase to accommodate this new look. Rest assured that practicality hasn't been compromised, and the hatchback sports an even wider cargo hatch than before, and there's still a generous amount of headroom in the interior. Another part of the car that's taking its inspiration from Europe is the new Honda's handling. The driving dynamics have been refreshed to make sure it's still among the top cars in its segment. That's been primarily achieved through upgraded suspension and refined steering. Now, both variants of the car have been engineered to handle well, although drivers looking for a more engaging everyday experience should opt for the hatchback. It's been tuned to feel sportier than the sedan, no doubt taking its inspiration from the incredible Type R. Now, there are two new engine options available for the 2022 Civic. First, it's base level unit that makes 158 horsepower. And then there's the 1.5 liter turbo that makes 180, 180. Both engines are in line four and use Honda's famous VTEC technology to ensure optimal power is always delivered to the driver. The 158 horsepower powertrain also redlines at an impressive 6,500 RPM, while the 180 option is limited to 6,000. Whatever option you go for, Honda's engines are known for being both enjoyable and fiercely reliable, so there's no reason to suspect these new units will be anything different. All right, you're going to like this one. If not, go get your head checked out. Only available on the Sport and Sport Touring trims of the new Civic, the manual option is a short shift six-speed box. Honda's aim for the new Civic is to target young, active buyers. And those kind of buyers often tend to want a more engaging driving experience, thus the six-speed manual. Having this manual transmission is not only a good way to attract that demographic, but it will likely entice 
older buyers, how old is old, looking for something fun to drive every day as well. In the face of shrinking manual sales and automatics taking over, it's good to see Honda sticking to their enthusiast guns on this one. Unlike some cars where it's best to sit down and work out where everything is before you drive, the Civic aims to be a get in and go kind of car. In other words, intuitive. That means a careful balance of controls on screen and analog buttons and ergonomic design to make sure every feature is on hand quickly. There's also Honda's new body stabilization seat, which should increase comfort for both drivers and passengers on some of those longer road trips. One key factor in attracting those younger buyers that Honda is looking for is making sure that the new Civic comes with great connectivity as standard. To do that, they've added Android Auto and Apple CarPlay for all trims, making it easy to switch music or enable navigation on the go. The center console houses a new 7-inch screen for LX, Sport, and EXL trims and an even larger 9-inch screen for Sport Touring models. Underneath the screen is a row of regular buttons that control basic features like skipping music tracks so you don't have to fiddle around with a touchscreen when you should be concentrating on driving. There's also a slew of new safety features. Drivers don't like to think too much about what's going wrong when they're driving, but the truth is that accidents do happen. To make sure the new Civic is safer than ever, Honda has included several new safety features, including an innovative set of front airbags. These airbags have been specifically designed to reduce neck and head trauma in the event of a crash, and they're the first of their kind. There's also now rear seat side airbags available across both the sedan and hatchback models. Driver assistance technology has come a long way in recent years, going from an annoyance to a crutch that many drivers today can't go without. The 22 Civic features Honda's new sensing technology, which uses a camera to provide a range of driver aid features. There's traffic jam assist available on all models, and top spec sport touring models now have access to low speed braking assist too. That's in addition to many returning assistance features that are already available in the outgoing 21 model. Now, one of the coolest new features for the 11th generation car has to be the optional Bose sound system. It features a total of 12 speakers that are carefully placed around the car for a complete surround sound package. The system also automatically compensates for road noise by adjusting sound levels so the car's audio will sound crisp and clear no matter what speed the car is going. It's just one of the many great new features included in the 2022 Civic, which may well be the best generation yet. One final note, if you are in the market for a new vehicle soon, great. Connect with your local dealership and price and test drive at least three different vehicles. A vehicle's strengths and weaknesses can only be discovered when you are behind the wheel. My reviews can be good, but you need to test drive these yourself. Visit quotes.everymandriver.com, select the make model in your zip code, and you'll get invoice pricing in your area on those vehicles. Shop smarter with price quotes at quotes.everymandriver.com. Thanks for watching. Please cl click subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time.